Um, I would like help with an estate agent that uses a top-up deposit system after 11 years. They have not topped it up, but we have paid for those top-up. They claim they only have 3,500. I have my letters. I do not know what we're talking about. It uh, sounds like it sounds like a deposit mm -hmm. that hasn't been topped up for eleven so, years, which sounds like a, <clears throat> I'm I'm going to lease here, but you know. Yeah. Okay. So there's a tenant. Uh, oh, so we think. Of, we think it must be a tenant. Okay. Help with an estate that uses a top up deposit system. After eleven years, they have not topped it up. But we have paid. Okay, so we have paid for those top ups. So I'm assuming it's a tenant. I'm yes. assuming that you've had a lease for 11 years. And every but the year, top ups aren't reflecting. Yeah. Ah. So every year, as the rent escalates, there's um, a, pr a, pr a portion of top ups. To uh, the so the answer is go to the tribunal, basically. Uh, yes, well, the, or, or complain, yeah, go to the tribunal to claim back the full deposit because it needs to be kept somewhere, um, mm. or go to the property practitioner's regulatory authority to complain about this agent. Not So remember, your lease agreement as a tenant lies against the owner and is with the owner. And the, the agent only acts as a representative, like to broker the lease. So for all intents and purposes, You've got a claim against the owner for the return of your deposit, which you can prove that you've paid. A top-up deposit for viewers that might not know what it is, it's quite literally every year as the rent escalates more often than not, your deposit escalates by the same amount. Because your deposit stays static in the sense that it sits in an account, all we do is once we charge extra rent, we ask for once-off payment just to bring that deposit up to the same amount as the rent, is, as an example. Mm -hmm. So that's what top up is. So one is assuming that when he started the lease, it was a 3,500 Rand deposit. And every year as the rent escalated, it became 3,550, 3,600, whatever. Um, but the agent, even though asking for it, never accounted for it. So they don't have the money. Your claim technically lies against the landlord, the landlord being the person that you contract with. Landlord would then have a claim against the agent. Uh, for misappropriating the funds. Um, so if you want your deposit back, you can take this to the rental housing tribunal and get an order for your full deposit to be paid back, uh, provided you have proof that you've paid it. And then landlord, you just need to uh, put pressure on the agency. Um, and if the money has disappeared or has been stolen, uh, 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 yeah, the, the PPRA would probably be your the best place to go. And there is insurance. Um, mm. Yeah, there is insurance that would cover theft. So depending on, I don't know if it works like the legal insurance where you first have to sue before you claim. Yeah, it, it is in terms of, uh, yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah, same yeah. story. So Ooh, you don't have to sue the agent, sorry? Exactly. <laughs> what, what I wanted to add is, for tenants, just a tip for, for our viewers, in terms of the Rental Housing Act, you are entitled to ask for a statement reflecting the balance of your deposit together with the interest that it's earning. Uh, you're entitled to that in terms of the Rental Housing Act. So to avoid a situation like this, I suggest um, annually, every year you do your renewal or whatever, as much as the landlord's entitled um, to re on you as the tenant, Ask for that statement to reflect um, the account in which your deposit is being held, the fact that it is there, and the fact that it's earning interest. You are entitled to that. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah, being to, practical. <laughs> so to add to the answer, not only are you entitled to the top ups, but there should also be an interest component to it. So just remember that yes. as all well, you submit your claim. Yes, they are exactly. But uh, your and your your interest not insurance your interest must be um at least that of a savings account with a financial institution so it's not spectacular interest but uh, you know yeah. there must be interest sure.